Hey Go Big Go customers, today I'll be going over how to install our easy to use HDMI extender kit, part number HDBit-T EXT. The HDBit-T EXT is an HDMI extender kit that can extend your signals up to 395 feet over one cost effective Cat5 E 6 or 7 cable while also maintaining signal strength and superior audio and video quality. HDMI signal transmission can be delivered directly with one-to-one -one connection or with an existing network gigabit router or switches. Do note that a network setup with multiple receivers requires unmanaged gigabit Ethernet switches for best performance. Dedicated unmanaged gigabit Ethernet switches are recommended. With our HDBit-T transport protocol, you can connect up to 30 receivers per transmitter to not only extend, but split HDMI signals to multiple displays. Our extender kit works with the following. Blu-ray players, media players, AV receivers, computer PCs, and cable or satellite boxes. Please note that a good quality Ethernet cable is essential in delivering quality content. CAT 6 and 7 cables are recommended over CAT 5E cables. Inside the box, you will find an HDMI HD Bit-T CAT 5E 6 extender kit with one transmitter, one receiver, an IR extender kit with one blaster IR cable and one receiver IR cable, two power adapters, and a user's guide. Okay, so I'm going to be going over how to do a one-to-one -one installation now. So I have my Blu-ray player over here on the right with an HDMI cord connected to it. So I'm going to take my transmitter and connect it to the HDMI cord from the, with the input. Then I'm going to take my HDMI cord that's currently connected to my monitor and connect it to the output on the receiver. And as you can see here, I have a 150 foot CAT6 cable, which I'm going to connect into the transmitter first. And then I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the receiver. And then I'm going to take the power adapter and connect it to the transmitter first. Then I'm going to connect it to the receiver. Okay, so as you can see, this blue light here is telling us that our device is on. And then we have this orange blinking light, which is the activity LED, which tells us that there is data transmission. And then we have this green light over here, which is the link LED, that is telling us that our CAT6 cable is connected properly to the transmitter and the receiver. Here you can see that our video and audio are coming through with our one-to-one -one connection. So because your source device will be in another location, this IR extender kit will allow you to control your device from a remote location. So over here on the right, I have my IR blaster. And over here on the left, I have the IR receiver. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my IR blaster and plug this into my transmitter. And I have my IR receiver, which I'm going to be plugging into our receiver device over here on the left. And that's it. Please note that your IR blaster should be facing your source device for proper transmission. So once your IR extender kit is properly installed, I can now control my source device from a remote location. Oh. Lies the isolated island of Marion. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do the 1 to 3 installation. So I have my Blu ray player right here with an HDMI cord connected to it. So I'm going to go ahead and take my transmitter and plug the HDMI cord into the input on the transmitter. And then I'm going to take a CAT7 cable that's 50 feet right here, plug this into the transmitter. Then I have a 5 port gigabit switch, which I'm going to plug the other end of the CAT7 cable into. Okay, so I have my three receivers over here, and I have my two CAT6 Ethernet cables that are 100 feet. And then I have my other CAT6 cable over here that's 150 feet. And then I have three HDMI cores that are currently connected to my three monitors. So I'm going to go ahead and start plugging in the HDMI cords into the receivers one by one. Okay, 
And then I'm going to take my six cables, plug them into the Ethernet ports. Okay, so I'm going to take the other end of each of the Ethernet cords and plug them into the gigabit switch. Okay, now that everything is plugged in, we should have video and audio coming in shortly on our monitors. Okay, as you can see, once everything is properly installed, we have video coming up and we can press play. The special places, however, and the video and audio should come out of the monitors. Sustain these levels of life throughout the summer. Along the coast of California. Thank you for watching, and for more information, please refer to the user guide or send any questions and concerns to our technical support team at www.gofinko.com contacts.